Known as the ICE building for short, the structure features some of the most advanced research technologies on campus, including an image and microscopy suite, a 10,000 square foot nanofabrication facility, and a materials characterization lab. The Institute of Transforming Undergraduate Education helped create problem-based learning curriculums to bridge the gap between disciplines, leading to a higher quality of graduates. We know we can create chemists with excellent deep knowledge of chemistry, but we want them to be able to function well in a team environment, to be able to uh, identify and solve problems, to uh, think in open and critical ways about alternative solutions to, to problems. The ICE building is split up into two wings. You have Gore Research Labs to my right, and then DuPont Science Learning Labs to my left. Both of these facilities are aimed at giving students a chance to learn through collaboration. So the idea is a student team would work inside the, the uh, team-based room with the full class of 48, figure out what the issues are, how they, what their approach to the problem is, map a, a lab procedure to test their, their solution, and then go out into the lab setting and, and try to collect some data, uh, run their experiments, and see if they can actually solve, solve the problem that they set out to solve. Yeah, I think building the ICE building here was a good idea because uh, the university gets a lot of money from research grants and government funding. And also having state-of-the-art research facilities around here would bring in highly skilled faculty and make us more competitive in the research zone. To further emphasize community and collaboration, the ICE building features a relaxing picnic away from the view of the street. The inside is home to Einstein Bros bagel shop and several common areas. Uh, there's just so many like nooks and crannies where like in the library they just all of them get filled up and everyone knows about them. This is Martin Sensek reporting for UV News.